Hi, it's John Flynn, Cowboy Advertising. Today we're gonna to talk about Glassdoor. Glassdoor. You got some bad reviews on Glassdoor saying you suck. <laughs> now you're bringing candidates and you're scared to death because everybody reads Glassdoor, right? So you're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. It's a great story, right? You tell them, yes, we sucked. That person was absolutely right. We were awful. So guess what? We looked at it and we changed it because that's the kind of company we are, right? We take feedback from our employees. And when we find out that somebody's unhappy or leaves the company because, you know, there was horrible things going on, we take care of those horrible things. And we had, we addressed that problem and we fixed that problem and we move forward. And you know what? That negative feedback made us a better company. That's your answer right there. That's your answer. Okay. So that's where you need to go with that, right? Negative glass door reviews are awesome, right? Awesome. That's what you need to do about this, right? So, you know, please, you know, I mean, that don't worry about that. Embrace it, right? Embrace negativity. Embrace criticism. People do, they crit, they panic, and they're like, oh, no. Say, like, okay, yeah, <laughs> screwed up. Clients do that to me, right? I mean, clients come to me and they're like, you know, what well, this isn't doing that. And I say like, yep, because I messed up. <laughs> I'm going to fix it on my dime. I'm going to fix it on my dime, right? And we're going to make it better. You know what? Thanks for pointing that out. I screwed up. Or they may come and say something. I'm going to say, hey, you know, listen, we talked about this because I set clear boundaries, right? Clear boundaries before I do a job. And we talked about this and we talked about that that wasn't going to happen this way. Now, right? If you want to sit down and talk about how that could happen that way, we'll have to sacrifice some stuff on this side. We can do that. We can do that. But, you know, we wanted to, you know, look at, on that side of the world. So let's sit down and have a conversation. That's why I have conference calls every Monday and Tuesday. I have conference calls every Monday and Tuesday. I give them all the statistics from the previous week. That way everybody, it's transparency, right? It's transparency. What's going on? I want transparency because if I'm doing something wrong, please tell me. Please tell me. If you don't like the numbers and you want to t change it, please tell me. Right? I want to know, right? And you're mad at me? Tell me. I want to hear you mad at me, right? Because mad at me means you care. And I care too, because I want to be a partner, right? I don't want to be a vendor. I want to be a partner. And you know what? We're going to push each other to greatness. That's right. I'm going to say a couple times a week that I don't think you're doing the right thing. And they're going to say, you know what? I don't think you're doing the right thing. So there. <laughs> we all learn. We learn together, right? So, you know, don't worry about it. Criticism, glass door stuff, embrace it. It's gonna make you better. Don't hide it. Don't, that's the worst thing you could do. That's what, you know, you look at Martha Stewart and everybody else. You know what, they went to jail, not for the act, but the, for the cover up. The cover up is the crime, right? Don't cover it up. Take it and put it on a table like a statue and go, yep, yeah, that was crap I did. And you know what? We fixed it. Much better way to go. John Flynn, I'll be having this.